on this episode of Captain's Tales. Today's angling target, the beach snook on Kiwaden Island. Target fishing. It's like hunting out here. There's your beach snook. Fish on. Fish on right there. How about them apples? That's a nice fish. You can see where a shark had grabbed her earlier. There she goes. That's cool. Throughout maritime history, there have been experts on the water who knew how to navigate and locate their bounty. These individuals held the secrets to where, when, and how. This still holds true today. Get ready for an angling experience filled with sea secrets, fantastic fishing, and great destinations. For on this show, it's only the captain and the camera. On this episode of Captain's Tales, we're running out of Naples, Florida to the Gulf of Mexico. Our angling destination is one of Southwest Florida's most beautiful and pristine barrier islands, Kiwaden Island. Our guide on this trip is Captain Tim Doggerty. Captain Tim first cut his teeth on the water in Tampa Bay, Florida. He migrated further south to take advantage of the beautiful beaches, estuaries, and his love for light tackle fishing opportunities. This leads us to today's angling target, the beach snook on Kiwaden Island. Kiwaden's clean natural environment is a haven for the Florida snook who thrive in large schools on the island shoreline. Well, I tell you, my grandfather was a captain. My dad also was a mariner, still is boating up in Tampa, and I, it's just always been kind of part of us, and it was a way to get out and a way to spend time with, with my family, and it's just something I enjoy doing, and um, just meeting different people, and all ages, you know, from the kids all the way up to, you know, to the older folks. There we go. Nice, that's a decent one too right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon on that one. Yeah, can't catch them all, right? Let's get another one. Nice. Gotta love that. The type of rig I use, I like to go with about a seven foot rod, uh, medium, medium light action. Um, the reels I use is the Daiwa Soul, spooled up with 12 to 15 pound spider wire ultra cast. You can cast that thing a country mile, especially for these spooky uh, beach snook fishing. You know, stay far off them and fire a bait in there. That'll increase your, your hookup ratio and just keep it simple, downsize your tackle, and you'll have a great day on the water. This one got it a little deep. We're gonna give that fish the hook here. I don't even wanna mess with that one. Oh no. Well, that's how you gotta do it sometimes.
nice fish. It's target fishing. It's like hunting out here. There's nothing better to me than watching a fish eat. I could do this all day. And I do do it all day. <laughs> I love it. Uh-oh, she's trying to dog me. There's your beach snook. <laughs> Circle hook, corner of the mouth every time. Give them a minute to get their breath back here. Make sure there's no dolphins around too. And there she is. I love this kind of fishing. Let's get another one. She's on it. She ate it. Circle hook, come. She ate it twice. Yeah, fish on. Get you some of that. Come on, baby, give me a jump. Come on, girl. Not as big as the other one, but still a nice sight fish. Fish, come on. going underneath that boat. There she is. <laughs> Fish is all mouth right there. She hit that bait twice. That's one hungry snook. Three-odd circle hook does it every time. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get some more. We'll be right back with more of Captain's Tales. Today we're on the beach, Key Wayden Island in Naples here. Just doing some sight fishing. The water's crystal clear today. It's a perfect day to throw at some targets. We're actually having a pretty good day seeing quite a few fish and just want to show you guys exactly what kind of rig we use out here. It's real simple. Basically what I'm going to do here is double up the line, which is a spider hitch, which acts as a little shock absorber when I tie the leader on here. Just a little loop. I'm going to go through the loop once, twice, three times. Let's go one more for good measures here. Three times. Come tight with it right there. And all that does is form a little loop. The offshore guys will use a bimini twist. For me, it's quick. It's easy. I can tie it fast. Tie quite a few of them on here. So once you have the, the double line here, we're going to tie on your leader, which is a little 30 pound leader. You can go light. If the water gets crystal clear or clearer than this, I'll even switch to 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon if the fish get real finicky. But this triple fish, 30 pound, is perfect. Get yourself a good, you know, two feet of leader here. All we're going to do is bring this down and bring a little loop in it. We're going to lay this leader line right on top of it and wind right up the spider hitch. Once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven should be good. We're going to go right back through the little loop back here. Pull these two. Once it cinches on that knot like that, 
you've got it good. Just pull each each line opposite and bam. That looks good. Clip your tag ends. Now we're gonna tie on the hook. With a hook, I just like to use a little loop knot. Everybody does theirs a little different. I've just about tie everything, my flies to live bait, to lures, to everything. I like the action it gives, it allows the bait or lure just to give a good natural action. So once you have that loop tied in, start with a little overhand loop. You're gonna bring it through the hook to the hook eye. Come back in the loop, around the standing line, and back in the hole and pull that tight. When it comes tight like this, you're gonna get a little loop. Pull tight and that's all you got. And that's our rig out here for beach fishing. We've got mainly two types of hooks we use out here. Um, we've got the standard J hook, which a lot of guys tend to use, but nowadays, with conservation and conserving our fish and making sure we can catch them another day, they've come out with a circle hook, which nine times out of 10, this hook will hook the fish right in the corner of the mouth or the lip. Don't wanna set the hook on these, just come tight. As soon as you hear that drag, raise that rod tip, catch them every time. And I'll show you a way we rig these baits out here. For a bait about this size, you could get away with a 2.0. We've been using baits a little bit bigger today, so I've been using about a 3.0. And this is just your standard 3-0 owner circle hook. And the way I hook these baits is, a lot of guys will hook them right through the, right through the lips, but there's a little nostril hole, not something you can really see, but you just kind of put the hook point in there and feel for it, and it'll go right in, and that bait doesn't even know he's hooked, and he'll swim as free as the day he was born. I call these snook candy. Get you some of those. We're back with more shoreline snook action on Southwest Florida's Kiwaden Island. Not a huge one, but the best time of the year to fish for these fish are your summer months. And in the summer months, we get that push of white baits and threadies which push on to our beaches here. And that's the best time to fish. Let's get, off. Let's get that thing up the beach here. Circle hook gets them every time. Nice little male snook, Key Wading Island. See ya. Look at that bigger one right up on the beach there. Darn it. We're gonna get her next. There you go, girl. Make that drag screen. Gotta love this. What kind of fishing's addicting. This is something everybody can do. Take the proper steps to get yourself some bait. Try to do the stealthy approach. Don't run your trolling motor on full blast. Nice constant speed and you can get pretty close to these fish and present a bait and do this all day long. As long as you got sunshine and good calm seas. Circle hook in the corner of the nose every time. Hard to get out. Go up, little one. All right. 
Again, I could do this all day. We're gonna get a bigger one, I can feel it. Don't fish on. There you go. Of course, the little one ate it. Look at all the snow. These circle hooks that we're using these days are designed to hook the fish right in the corner of the mouth. That way the fish doesn't, you don't get it gut hooked, and this fish will be eaten today. Right in the corner every time. Let's unhook him and get him back. And this is what snook do to your leader. That chafing right there. This 30 pound leader may be now down to about maybe 20 with all that chafing going on. So take the time, retie, and get back on it. Plenty more fish out there. Captain Tim's experience tells him that this pristine beach can yield not only bountiful snook populations, but sometimes unexpected surprises. An overslot red swimming down the beach. Could be a little lost, but we're gonna see if she'll eat something here. Fish on, fish on, right there. Nice. That is mama right there. That is big fish. Oh yeah. Get any better than that? God, that's a big girl right there. Tell you, it looks like a shark might have had a go at her. How about them apples? That's a nice fish. You can see where a shark had grabbed her earlier. It's pretty bad, actually. It's amazing that she's eating. That's one beat up old red. Let's get her back in the water, maybe she That's cool. Woo. Closed captioning brought to you by Moonlighter Push Poles and Nets. Join us again next week for another episode of Captain's Tales and try one more fishing spot online.
log on to www.captainstales.com.